Hello students once again welcome to Bhulanath Academy in this video students we are going to see the question 7 in question 7 students we are going to calculate the mass of copper metal what is the what is the mass of copper metal produced at the cathode during the passage of 5 ampere current through copper sulfate solution for 100 minutes when the molar mass copper is 63.5 gram per mole so here students solution is there students in solution students you have copper sulfate solution okay students copper sulfate solution is given to you copper sulfate solution is there students now what happens students the electrodes are there battery students so this is negative point and this is what positive this is cathode now copper sulfate students what happens copper will deposit here at the cathode so how much amount of copper metal is produced at the cathode cathode means what this is negative this electrode is called how much copper is what deposited here how much copper deposited at the cathode during the passage of 5 ampere current when 5 ampere current is passed when 5 ampere current is passed inside solution for 100 mid timing is also given students 100 mid so your students what is the mass of copper metal what is the mass of copper metal that we are representing with capital w of copper what is the first we will write students what is we have to find and what is given so students that is weight of copper you are, you are going to calculate what will be the weight of copper when the 5 ampere current is passed okay students when the current we are represent with capital i is that is 5 ampere okay so when timing is given 100 minutes this small time is given that is 100 minutes students 100 minutes we have we have to convert this minute into second so we will multiply 100 by 60 it will convert into second so you will get 6000 second okay students so timing is what small t you have to take 600 6000 second okay students what else is given students we have molar mass capital m we are showing students molar mass we are showing with capital m molar mass of copper is given students 63.5 gram per mole okay students so what will be the weight of copper students will get in gram since students what reaction is going on students according to stoichiometry with the help of the stoichiometry means which type of reaction students will taking place that will write first inside solution students we have copper 2 plus this copper 2 plus will accept two electrons and it will reduce okay students so copper students copper 2 plus copper 2 plus will accept two electrons and it will convert into copper solid okay students now students see when you are going to find the mole issue how much amount of copper is deposited at cathode if you want to find the weight of copper here students you should know how much mole of electron is passed inside the solution yes students for one mole of copper deposition students here you have to require two mole of electrons understanding so mole ratio is very important students so from this uh, reduction copper 2 plus by accepting two electron it will reduce to copper solid therefore students first you will get the mole ratio mole ratio is nothing but one mole of copper in numerator and in denominator you have to take two mole of electrons okay students now students since you know if you want to find the weight of copper deposited is nothing but current into mole ratio into molar mass how much mole of electron is passed so this way you have to calculate students i into t divided by 96500 so this is the mole of electrons multiply by mole ratio multiply with molar mass since it is copper so molar mass of copper only you have to take understanding students this is the mole of electron multiply by mole ratio into molar mass now students just put the value your current 5 ampere only i am taking the digit i am not writing the unit time is students 6000 second upon 96500 into mole ratio students 1 upon 2 molar mass students is now 63.5 denominator you have to take 1 okay students now students how will you do this students this is nothing but here you can cancel this will cancel with this 60 into 5 will be 300 now students you have to multiply 1 upon 2 if you multiply this will be like this only 60 3.5 numerator with numerator and denominator with denominator 96,965 multiplied by 2 okay students so this all numerator with multiply by numerator and denominator with the denominator okay students now when you make it twice students 
थ्री हंड्रेड मल्टीप्लाई बाई सिक्सटी थ्री पॉइंट फाइव जस्ट मेक इट ट्वेल्स स्टूडेंट्स यू विल गेट टू टू फाइव जै टेन थर्टीन टू नाइन जै एटीन प्लस नाइनटीन नाउ दिस जीरो विल कैंसल विद दिस जीरो स्टूडेंट्स नाउ यू आर गेटिंग वेट ऑफ कॉपर स्टूडेंट्स यू आर गेटिंग थर्टी इंटू सिक्सटी थ्री पॉइंट फाइव अपॉन वन नाइन्टी थ्री दिस थ्री यू कैन राइट ऑल्सो लाइक दिस स्टूडेंट्स थ्री इंटू टेन इंटू सिक्सटी थ्री पॉइंट फाइव अपॉन वन नाइन्टी थ्री Now what happens when you multiply these two? This decimal will come outside, so you are getting three into six six thirty five. Okay, students, one ninety three. Just make it thrice, students. Three table you know three five is a fifteen, three three is a nine plus ten, three six is a eighteen plus one nineteen upon one ninety three. In examination, how you will divide, students? For that you have to use the log table. This you have to consider as a y. Okay, students, whatever value will come, you have to consider as y y gram. Now how you will calculate the y value, students? Is y is equals to One thousand nine hundred five. If you want to divide this four digit by three digit, digit one ninety three, you have to take the log on both the side. So what happens, students? This will be the log, log of y. Yes, students. Numerator, log of numerator. If it is division, students, you have to take. Yeah, there will be the subtraction. Log of one thousand nine hundred five minus log of one ninety three. Okay, students. Now, students, if you want to take the log, students, how many digit students are there? Four digit. So four digit minus one, you have to do to find the characteristic first. Four minus one will be three. Now, students, in log table, students, in nineteen, in zero column, students, five mean difference. If you add, students, you will get two seven nine nine. Okay, students, minus will be as it is. Here, three digit, students, three digit minus one will be two. So, characteristics you are getting two nine. Now, in log table, students, in nineteen and third third column, you are getting getting the answer two eight five six. Okay, students. Now, when you subtract, students, if you nine minus six will be three, nine minus five four, seven minus eight not possible. Bring one, so it will become nine. Eleven. Now it is. We got to eleven minus two will be nine. Two minus two will be zero. Okay, students, the decimal will be. So this is the value of log y. Therefore, y will be students. This log will come on this side. This is the value of log y. So why this log will come on this side? You become anti log. You have to take the anti log of point nine nine four three. Okay, students. When you see in anti log table, students, you will find in anti log table, students, just see students point ninety nine four and three mean difference. When you add students, you are getting nine nine. Seven five. Okay, students. This is the anti log. This of point nine nine four and three ninety nine fourth column. And add the mean difference. You will get this, students. Now, since the characteristic is zero, students, when the characteristic will be zero, students, when there will be one digit. So the point you have to shift here. One minus one will be zero. Okay, students. Now this is the value of y. Therefore, students, this way you have to calculate the with the help of the log table. That is weight of copper is nothing but y into gram. I have told no. So put the value, students. You will get nine point nine seven. Five gram. Now, students, because it is more than five, so you can also write it as a nine point nine eight gram. Okay, students. So this way, students, you can calculate the weight of copper deposited at the cathode. This is very simple, students. For two marks in a board examination, this way you have to represent the answer, students. If you like my video, please share it, subscribe it. Thank you, thank you very much. Have a nice day. God bless you.